It's October 7th, Flathead Lake, Montana. Let's see what Candace is up to. Should we get out of here before we get caught by the state park police? Uh -huh. Hmm? Uh -huh. Can't believe we kept the window open all night. How did that happen? I don't know. I think we opened it when I farted. I thought we closed it. <laughs> What kind do you want? I want my new espresso. <laughs> oh god, did you get that on camera? <laughs> Making precious here uh, coffee. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, where's your new uh, coffee tin? In El Frigo! <coughs> Figaro, Figaro, Figaro! Figaro, Figaro, Figaro! In a while. Okay. Hey, when are you going to learn those? <laughs> Same time I learn them? Front rear. Right rear. I hear somebody's coffee percolating. Woo! Percolating? Isn't this a percolator? No? What's a percol? Cafetera. I thought was the name. Should I have my coffee in bed? Oh, it's spilling. Oh, how do you do it over the sink then? Why is it spilling? It never spills. Here's your coffee, precious. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, thanks. Life in the snail's good, man. Except when you're sick. Except when you have a cold. All I really wanna do, all I really wanna do, is love you and love you and love you and love you. <laughs> Come a little closer, babe. That was good. <laughs> it's only been filming for a minute. <laughs> We're at Sealy Lake in Montana, where the Reverend McLean and his son Norman McLean built a log cabin. <laughs> Take it away from the city and fish the Big Blackfoot River. Norman McLean is the author of A River Runs Through It, one of my favorite movies. I'm reading the book right now. And we're looking for his cabin. I hope we can find it. No success. There's lots of bear hair around But at least we here. know he was here. Bear hair. It's not bear hair. <laughs> Where Looks is it? like it. Oh. <laughs> It's like stuff that comes off. Yeah, it's all the moss. It looks like bear hair. That's what I kept thinking was bear hair when we were hiking. <sighs> Lens has crap oh, crap all over yeah. it. <laughs> the oh, Lens the, 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 the has crap all over. Yeah, look at all that bear hair up there. <laughs> That's a lot of bears climbing these trees. Then, in the arctic half-flight of the canyon, all existence fades no, to a... Sing. No, sink! Then, in the arctic <laughs> half-flight of the canyon, all existence fades to a being of my soul. In memories and the sounds of the big Blackfoot River, and a four-count rhythm, and the hope that a fish will rise. Eventually, all things merge into one, and a river runs through it. The river was cut by the world's great flood, and runs over rocks from the basement of time. On the rocks are timeless raindrops. Underneath. Under the rocks. Oh. Under the rocks are the words. <laughs> Some of the words are theirs. I am haunted by waters. <laughs> Eventually, all things merge into one, and a river runs through it. You may recall a movie called A River Runs Through It. Well, in the true story, 
Norman McLean and his brother Paul fished this big, the Blackfoot throughout their lives. And here we are today at the Big Blackfoot River. One of my favorite movies, I had to come and check out the river where the author of the book fished throughout his life. And now, like Paul and Norman when they were kids, I'm gonna skip a rock on the Big Blackfoot. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're here at Garnet Ghost Town. It's pretty awesome. It's nestled here on this little hillside, Montana, close to Missoula, maybe 30 minutes away. At night, you can hear people dancing in the dance hall. Maybe we should stay. This is the Wells Hotel. Hotel in the Garnet Coast. Oh. <laughs> Pretty little house. <laughs> there they are. There's deer. Go, deer, go. Go, go, go. Oh, I'll never leave Montana, brother. My brother stood before us, not on a bank of the Big Blackfoot River, but suspended above the earth, free from all its laws, like a work of art. But when I am alone in the half-light of the canyon, all existence seems to fade to a being with my soul and memories, and the sounds of the Big Blackfoot River and a four-count rhythm, and the hope that a fish will rise. Eventually, all things merge into one, and a river runs through it. The river was cut by the world's great flood and runs over rocks from the basement of time. On some of the rocks are timeless raindrops. Under the rocks are the words, and some of the words are theirs. <laughs> 